Welcome to Vachet's WebEx presentation for high-frequency, multi-layer ceramic chip capacitors. This webinar is intended to explain the main parameters limiting MLCC performance in RF applications. To show the different product families available for all kinds of applications, and to analyze benchmarking tests performed showing the benefits of Vachet technology. A real capacitor shows deviations from the expected ideal capacitor performance. A number of parasitic parameters limit the performance in high frequency and or high power applications. The most important of those is the ESR or equivalent series resistance, which is a combination of losses in the dielectric material and in the metal electrodes and termination. Due to the resistive nature of this parameter, it creates power losses and capacitor heating, reducing reliability, and can even produce catastrophic failures. Another parasitic parameter limiting the high frequency performance is the ESL or equivalent series inductance due to the parasitic inductance present in any conductor. This parameter depends on the physical dimensions of the capacitor being more dominant as the case size of the capacitor increase. The metal loss is a pure resistive loss due to the resistivity of metal electrodes, terminations, barrier layers, and etc. The total metal loss depends on the electrode, material resistivity, and number of layers. This parameter is more dominant at higher frequencies, higher than 30 MHz, where the skin effect reduces the effective conductor area, thus increasing their resistance. Being a resistive loss, it creates power losses in heating, reducing the capacitor power management, and, if the high currents present, even can produce catastrophic failures. The dielectric loss of the resistance depends on the characteristics of dielectric material formulation, grain size, impurities, etc. In general, the resistance is predominant at relative low frequencies, lower than 30 MHz. The equivalent series inductance is the parasitic inductance due to electroconductors and is predominant at very high frequencies, creating a resonant circuit with the main capacitance. Beyond this frequency, the capacitor behaves as an inductor. The quality factor of a capacitor is the ratio of its reactants to its resistance at a given frequency and as a measure of its efficiency, that is, the ratio between the energy stored or transmitted against the power dissipated or lost. This power loss, due to the resistive nature, produces heating, reducing the reliability of the component and the whole design. The higher the Q factor of the capacitor, the closer it approaches the behavior of an ideal, lossless capacitor. So the question is, how do you choose the right RF capacitor? The answer is, it depends on the application, RF power level, voltage and current rates, working frequency, stability of the capacitor, and etc. Vichet offers a wide range of product families, covering from low power, low cost consumer applications to the most demanding high power, high frequency, high reliability products. Commercial high Q and ultra high Q commodity product lines are targeted for low power, low cost consumer applications. These product lines are based on base metal technology and are the choice where the product is mainly price sensitive. Those series show a low resistance in high Q. High Q for industrial applications is based on noble metal technology and is the choice for more demanding industrial and medical applications showing better reliability and stability with voltage and temperature. These series displayed represent a very low resistance and high Q. In terms of functionality, High Q capacitors are founded in circuitry like impedance matching, tuning, bypass, filtering, coupling, DC blocking, and etc. Due to their low cost, High Q or Ultra High Q commodity series are mainly targeted for mobile phones, wireless modems, RFID transmitters and receivers, GPS, Bluetooth, set top boxes, WLAN, and etc. The Noble Metal series is intended for higher quality applications, including medical instrumentation, laser machines, and etc. When the RF power and or frequency are higher, the choice is high frequency series, 
Case sizes in EIA standard 0402, 0603, and 0805 with voltage rates up to 1500 volts or even for higher power, quad high frequency series case sizes 0505, 1111, 2525, and 3838 with voltage rates up to 7200 volts. Capacitance ranges from 0.1 picofarad up to 5.1 nanofarad with tolerances as low as 0.05 picofarad. For the designer, it is imperative to have design kits available on the lab during the design stages. Vache offers design kits, two for 0402, one of them for values below 1 picofarad, three for 0603, and three for 0805, also including a sub-pico kit. Design kits are also available for quad high frequency series for 0505 case size and 1111. High Q and RF capacitors can be found in almost any product ranging from consumer products like cellular phones, GPS equipment, and wireless, up to highly demanding MRI medical equipment, RF instrumentation, telecommunication infrastructure, and more. In order to prove excellent performance of Bechet's high frequency and quad high frequency product series, we develop a simple test where we compare and visualize the performance of Bechet parts against a main competitor, comparing the power loss and thermal dissipation at high frequencies. For this benchmark, we supply the same power to similar capacitors, case size 1111, one Vachet, and the other, a leading competitor, located in a symmetrical substrate. This fixture is placed under an IR thermal imaging camera to record the temperature rising of both capacitors under the same power and frequency conditions. A higher temperature rise indicates higher losses, higher ESR, and lower Q. In this schematic, you can see the symmetrical feeding of both capacitors at the same power level and frequency. In the next slide, the real-time test can be seen, showing a competitor's higher temperature and, as a result, higher losses. This test applies continuous wave power simultaneously through two equal value capacitors into separate 50 ohm loads and measures the surface temperature of each capacitor. The 11.11 case size Vichet capacitor is shown at the top of the camera image. The respective power sensor displays are to the right, indicating power level in watts. With no power applied, no current flows, and the capacitors have the same ambient surface temperature of approximately 30 Celsius. When power is turned on, coupling equal power levels through the capacitors to their respective loads. Each capacitor passes approximately the same amount of current, but the Vichet capacitor, indicated by the blue trend, is more than 2 degrees C cooler than the competitor part. Another way to compare the efficiency of the Vichet MLCC is to look at how much more power can be coupled to its load until it reaches the same level of heat dissipation as the competitor part. The power level on the Vichet capacitor can be increased separately until an equal amount of heat dissipation is measured. It can be seen that the Vichet capacitor is coupling approximately 35% more power to the load, yet dissipating similar heat as the competitor part. This concludes our power demonstration. Thank you for watching. In conclusion, Vichet's lower ESR reduces power loss more effectively. Thermal imaging shows Vichet's MLCC surface temperature cooler than the competitor. The competitor's higher ESR means higher power loss. Furthermore, the competitor's MLCC needs larger thermal mass and higher dielectric thermal conductivity to compensate for the greater power loss and heat that the MLCC must dissipate. Thank you.